Hello, my name's Harold. I uh, made my last video about a mostly uh, useless machine. Well, in the in the meantime, I was working on uh, another uh, device, a mostly useful and wonderful machine. I uh, I saw this thing on uh, the Cast Bullets forum back in I guess June somewhere back there, and. Uh, I thought, well, this is yeah, absolutely genius. It's a, it's a wonderful idea, and I let it rock around in the back of my mind, mind for you know, a couple of weeks, and then I went back and looked at it again, and I I knew I had to have one. This was uh, this, this wonderful machine's a bullet sizer. I don't know if you know anything about that, but if you reload your ammunition, and, and that's something you pretty much got to do if you you're in competitive shooting because it takes a lot, and uh, Anyway, this this little device, this machine, sizes bullets. If you cast them, they may not be the right size, so you push them through a little die, and that squeezes them into the exact right diameter. Well, the device I had used before was really slow, and sometimes I'd even get my finger caught in it, maybe, and it just seemed like it'd take forever to you know to run off any kind of a pile of bullets with it. And then I saw this uh, this idea. This uh, guy lives down in uh, Brisbane, Australia, and he's a member of the forum. And he has built this machine. And while and in the time that I've been working on it, I managed to take a two-day job and drag it out to about six weeks. Uh, I'm a really skilled procrastinator, and so if anybody can put it off, I can, you know. But Anyway, I would work an hour or two a week on it, or maybe sometimes an hour a week, and you know, and it dragged on. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I finally got it finished a few days ago, and the guy in Australia, meanwhile, he's been working on, and, and his buddies on the forum have been working on progressing further and further with this device and making a lot of improvements that you you won't see on mine because I didn't know what they were doing all this time. I didn't check back on them. One guy's got the thing motorized, and uh, the guy that had originally invented it has uh, added all kind of neat accessories, like a rack to uh, behind it to hold sizing dies and, and one thing or another. And he's uh, produced some and sold them and shipped them out to people who are very happy with them. So I'm going to show you what, what it looks like and then we're going to go out in the garage and get my uh, mold and we're going to take it out on the patio melt some lead cast some 45 ACP and then we're going to size them in the mostly wonderful and uh, genius machine that uh, that I copied from uh, Gremlin 460 down in uh, in Australia thank you Gremlin Okay, the normal way that I was sizing bullets is that I would take this piece right here with all the equipment on it out of this press and I would replace it with uh, this piece right here. Here's the uh, sizing die that the bullets get pushed up through and they go into this little red container. This all sets right on top of the, the press there and what came with it was was this little guy right here and you set him in here on a spot that lines up and then you set a bullet on top of it and push it up through the sizing die and then you put another one on it and push it up and that was a painful thing and this thing right here wasn't really wasn't really made to use in the press that I've got so I made one that it would work with it so that I could stick on to the uh, onto the bullet plate like that and it would hold itself and that made it better but it was still a slow drawn long drawn out process and I had to balance a bullet on top of that thing so I saw this uh, this was on a, another website uh, on the cash bullets website and I thought, well, that's certainly the, the best thing since sliced bread. A genius idea. I was kind of jealous I hadn't thought of it myself. But you st stack your bullets up in this little tube here. 
they point down into here and there's a shuttle there you can see moving back and forth they draw all the bullet over and drop it into the die and then you push it through and the die is down here in the bottom sticking through and it just falls down into that uh, container right now I'm gonna to have to put a little plastic hose so they can go down gently they don't really want to you know damage the stuff that uh, that I'm making uh, but anyway that's that's exactly how it works we'll take a couple of uh, commercially made bullets here and drop them into this thing and what you do you haul them over push it through falls down in the bucket roll them push it through you can just you, you can go like crazy with this thing and and make a ton of bullets mine's not just exactly like the uh, the original design because this is different you know you've got to when you do this you got to make it straight up and down so it works right and uh, I've, I've just got holes to mount it on the table but right now I've just got it C-clamped down because I might want to move it so uh, anyway we're going to go out and catch some 45 bullets and then we'll come back in here and size them. Okay, what we've got here is a Lee six cavity bullet mold. This one's to make 45s and there's a little warning about uh, lubricated. Got to grease the thing up with uh, some wax, same wax you use for canning and stuff like that. Uh, this, and then I'll put the handles on it, but we've got to clean all this up. I use a little brake uh, plate cleaner. It's good stuff. Knocks, knocks loose any kind of oil or anything. Clean up this side, and then where this little pin is, I've got to lubricate that with wax. And in general, everything that's got a moving part shoving on it has got to be lubricated. <coughs> before, uh, before I get to work on the molds I guess I need to heat up my uh, little melter here and I figure that uh, four muffins should be enough to make the the first hundred bullets just to test things down in there I've got scrap and old bullets that got damaged and such things and we're going to just uh, add some muffins in there and let them melt down I figure that's about a hundred bullets worth and uh, this metal here, I don't know if you saw my video where um, I showed the hydraulic press that I built. This, this piece of metal was my template for drilling the holes for all the cross pieces. And I still got some stock for the cross pieces left over. So it makes a good table for melting lead. Half, half inch thick steel is pretty tough. And I get prepared for this thing. I've got my afraid of nothing go anywhere shoes here I woke up to my ankles in mud and everything with these shoes they're not afraid to go anywhere because they're, they're a little bit too scroungy for the public and building that fence there I, I messed them all up like that but uh, they were initially initially started out as a pair of ten dollar Walmart shoes and, and a dog chewed on the toe and cut it open so they've been go anywhere she was since. This was the, the first pour of lead into the mold there and as you can see there's one bullet mostly formed the others didn't turn out too good because the mold didn't warm enough yet. I'll do this probably six or eight maybe ten times before the, the bullets start falling out of there completely formed and perfect. Okay so just just to show how stupid I am I haven't even tested this yet on on real bullets that are just cast and need uh, need sizing. So I'm going to do it right here. This is the first the first time through. That's kind of crazy. And I've got this tube here packed full of bullets I cast yesterday. And we're gonna we're gonna see if this thing works. Let's see. Maybe I maybe I should move in really close. And I don't know. Maybe shouldn't. Maybe I should move back out. Yeah, there. But you can see there's my tube, probably 25 or 26 bullets in it, or maybe more. And they're going to 
come squirting down there and pop out the bottom of this thing if it works right. There we go. They're just sitting right straight flat onto the floor. Um, Hard to walk and chew gum at the same time, and it's it's hard to do the bullets at the same time. But there we go. The punch doesn't push one all the way through every time. Well, there they go. I think they were hung up in the tube here. Well, there, there we go. They were hung up in the tube, so there's a little. Part for me to debug, make sure the uh, tube transitions smoothly. And there you go. The most wonderful machine there that um, Gremlin 460 down in Brisbane, Australia invented. And I know for a fact that I'm going to enjoy this thing. I don't think you could do it better for a nice, wonderful machine than that. And uh, it's about time for me to, to make some bullets because I went to a plate match today and shot my 45 and filled up the required last place. So I've got to, got to get busy and reload some more. So uh, maybe you could think about uh, subscribing and uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching.